hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm going to react to all the characters ultimate from honkai star rail which has been like you know revealed in the closed beta now if you guys are new to my channel welcome to my channel i am an anime reactor anime episode i react to anime episodes and stuff and i'm also a gacha game you know like i love gacha games as well i play honkai impact i play genshin impact fate grand order and a lot of other gachas as well so like i occasionally put out videos on genshin and uh, honkai as well fgy i kind of do it like you know like every week so i kind of do it like that so honkai um star rail is a game which is obviously going to come out next year and i am very excited to actually check it out because i am a big fan of honkai impact and genshin impact as well but i'm a bigger fan of honkai impact i love the honkai lore and everything related to honkai and i've, I've been like a honkai impact player for more than a year kind of so i know a, like you know i know quite a few things about honkai and i think but honkai's lore is pretty huge so there are a lot of things i don't know still but yeah like <laughs> that's just it that's just my introduction so yeah as soon as i got to know that honkai star rail a new game is coming out i am very excited to actually play it when it comes out unfortunately like you know the closed beta kind of took i think 15 uh 15 players uh and i also kind of tried to <laughs> like you know yeah, like get se selected but unfortunately yeah like 15 players out of so many players actually trying to get in so unfortunately i wasn't able to uh play the closed beta but we have this video so this is the first time i'm actually checking out the ultimates so yeah let's check this out and then i'll do a little discussion at the end of this video uh the original video that i'm going to react to the link will be down, given down in the description box i'm sure you've, you've watched it if you haven't you can go check it out so yeah without further ado let's get started with this video so this is honkai star rail all characters ultimate so far closed beta here we go. Okay, after this ends, I'll kind of pause and like you know check everything out intricately. Whoa, what? Clara. This is wealth. Whoa, that was cool. Oh my god. Himiko. Oh my god. Whoa! Himoka nukes the whole place, damn. Ah, this girl. Um, I think her name is April or something. April the 14th or something. Oh, is this... Ri no, this is Bronya. It's Bronya, isn't it? No, no, this is not Bronya. This is someone else. Oh my god. Wow, that was cool. This is Bronya. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, she's a buffer. Natasha, Raven, isn't it? <laughs> oh, she's a healer. Oh, interesting. Oh damn, she has a hammer. Or no, wait, what? Oh, she's a buffer. <laughs> this guy kind of looks like Sue, doesn't he? Like, you know, Sue from the Elsian realm? Kind of, I guess. Oh, wow. Sere. Oh my god. That's cool. Wow, there's so many characters. Okay. Alright, that's it. Wow, first of all, I had no idea that it like you know the close beta had so many characters now i'm hope i'm guessing this will be kind of like genshin like for example in genshin ayaka was in the closed beta but she came out a lot later you know in the game so i'm guessing it will be something like that i'm not sure if they'll actually include all the characters that are shown here at launch i doubt they're going to do that they it will be kind of like genshin the way genshin did it so 
I'm not sure, like, probably the main characters will be there. For example, Himeko will be there, I'm guessing, uh, from launch. Um, uh, what was the girl's name? April the 14th or something like that? Or March? Was it March? Was it March or was it April? Um, anyways, okay. Uh, so, yeah, like, I'll, I'll, I'm, what I'm going to check, like, I'm going to check every, each and every uh, things out again intricately. And I'm going to discuss about it. So yeah, I'll talk about that then. But I think like you know the main characters will be there from launch, but a few of of the like you know other characters will be coming out eventually. I think so because I doubt they're going to introduce so many characters just at launch. I doubt that's going to happen. But obviously, like I'm sure, like you know the people who have played Honkai Impact, I'm sure every one of them's uh, main target will be the Honkai characters, and obviously my main target. My first priority is definitely going to be Himeko. You know, I'm not sure which characters will be free and which won't. If Himeko is free, that's extremely good news. Like, you know, I don't know what else to say. But if she's not, I'm definitely she'll going for her. For the like, you know, the first priority will be Himeko. Then will be Bronya. First Himeko, then Bronya. Um, number three will be um, Natasha. Number f no, no, should I? Yeah, Natasha and Sere. Number three. Like um, these three will be the my first main uh, like my main targets, and yeah, then after that all the other characters that will come, and I'm sure like you know we'll get the main character for free, which is I think her name was March or anyways. Okay, so let's check out the uh, different characters. The first character, um, what's her name? Uh, Promise not come. No, I think that's the name of the ultimate. I'm not sure what the girl's name is, but I think this is the name of the ultimate promise not command. Wait a minute. Let me just check. I think she actually tells her name. What? Clara. Clara. Is that her name? I'm not sure. But anyways, yeah, this girl, she, she brings out a mecha, I think. Yeah. Or I don't know. Anyways, uh, she, she kind of looks like I don't know. Who does she remind me of? Kind of looks like Lee in a way, doesn't she? Um, if you uh, like, you know, ex except her hair. Her hair is long. But I don't know. Probably her red dress kind of reminds of me of Lee. But yeah. Okay. So her uh, technique, her ultimate, kind of seems related to a mecha. And it's written burst mode or something. So it's kind of like, I think that's the ultimate. Okay, the next character is obviously well. Okay, what's the name of his ultimate? Okay, um, damn, he, he brings out a black hole or something. No, what is that? Whoa. Okay, um, they did not show the name of the technique, but we can see wealth here. Um, Damn, well, well, the school. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, she so basically he basically uh, like brings out a black hole or something and kind of slashes that out uh, using his cane, and yeah. And then the uh, glasses, <laughs> the glasses thing that all anime characters do. All right, the next character here. Um, this is called Boom. Come. No, you know what? I think. Uh, this girl kind of reminds me of Klee. Like the previous girl was, her like, color palette was kind of like Klee, but this girl, her obviously like you know she's like a little girl, and her character design is also very similar to uh, Klee. Uh, you know, with the little thing hat and the like you know the the the, her, the dress that she's wearing. Uh, the only thing that's different is her color palette, which is yellow instead of red. And even her <laughs> ultimate technique's name kind of resembles Klee, doesn't like you know Klee's. It seems as if it's some kind of Klee's technique. It's called Boom! Here comes the fire. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so what does she do here? She brings out I don't know what this is. This thing. What is that? Uh. Yeah, this, this girl is kind of like Klee, especially the explosion. <laughs> Alright, um, 
that was her. So, okay, nothing much to say about her because she basically brings out a weird thing and kind of drags it around and then it explodes. All right, the next character, obviously Himeko, and her technique's name is Heavenly Flames. And damn, her technique, um, she basically nukes the place using a satellite. And <laughs> while doing that, she sips tea. That's a technique. Like, and I have to be honest here, I love Himeko's character design. It's so amazing. I love it even more than Honkai's character design. Like, you know, the, the dress that she's wearing, it's... You know, I love when anime characters have this kind of a thing. Uh, they, like, you know, wear sleeveless, but there's like a cape behind them. You know, a cape or a jacket or something, which is kind of like a cape. I love that type of a character design. I'm, I'm, I've seen a lot of like, anime, uh, not a lot of, but a, a, quite a few ca anime characters who have that design, who have like a jacket, which is hanging out like a cape. They're not wearing it. It's hanging out like a cape. And I love that character design. And Himeko, I think this is a jacket, isn't it? Let me check. Yep, it is a jacket. And she's just wearing it like a cape. And I love that. And obviously Himeko's, like, you know, like, character design itself is so damn gorgeous. And along with that, like, you know, the cape that is, cape or the jacket that is hanging outside. I love her character design. That's why she's, like, my first priority. And, yeah. And her ultimate seems very strong as well, I think so. She nukes the place, basically, while sipping tea, like... <laughs> yeah, okay, the next one. Um, this girl, I think her name is April, as far as I can remember. April 14th or something like that, I can't remember, but I feel like it is something like that. Um, she, she's, she's a bow user, her technique's name is Glacial Cascade. So what she does is, she, oh damn, she, okay, a mid, a arrow materializes in her hand. She shoots the arrow. Oh damn, the arrow explodes into little ice rabbits. Oh, which hits the enemy, okay. All right. That was her technique. So she's she's a bow user, we can see. And I think she, she's probably going to be free. I think so, at least. You know, f by free, I mean that she'll be, like, you know, uh, one of the characters that will already be given to us from the get-go. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay, the next character here. Okay, now, I don't know why the hell did I say that this girl is Bronya at the beginning. Now that I look at her, she's she looks like Rita. I feel like so yeah so this girl her name is uh, I don't know her name but her technique's name is here comes a mechanical fever she has some stereo system behind her <laughs> and a huge lance and yeah her character design does remind me of Rita's fallen rosemary you know okay let's see wait a minute oh this girl and that girl are the same wait what Oh, that's why I mistook her for Bronya. Her actual character design looks a lot like Bronya, but her like art design is looks like Rita. I don't know why. It's probably just me. Like you know, looking at this art, I feel like this is Rita. But then as soon as we go to the cutscene, I see this character here, and I feel like this is Bronya. Oh, anyways, so this this girl is like a musician. I'm guessing. I'm not sure. She has a guitar. She has some stereo systems behind it. This, this looks like a guitar. So okay. All right. Yeah, it is a guitar. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, this girl is a weird mixture. I feel like, and now 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 that I'm looking at her, I feel like she's she kind of looks like Durandal as well. Probably her blonde hair. I'm not sure. She looks like a mixture of a lot of characters, but yeah, she looks cool. Her hair, especially, is very cool because it's like her hair, like it's just like a blonde hair, and then at the at the end, it's kind of like a, has a bluish hue. And is she heterochromic? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, she's heterochromic, most probably. Okay. 
and damn she uses her guitar to <laughs> like, you know to unleash lightning on their enemies okay now the next one this is brawny i'm sure of it just look at her and her voice as well so Bronia here um her character design is very similar to apple's character design um with a little bit of difference you know here and there uh at the dress um i have to say i really like her dress here like apple's dress is nice in itself uh but um i feel like i prefer this dress more than apple's dress uh, of Bronia. but yeah okay anyways um so this so Bronia here she unleashes her ultimate and there's this army of eyes i don't know what these things are but okay and the, the main thing here is she is a buffer so attack and crit damage increased i think she'll probably be uh, one of those characters who you definitely need in your uh, party you know uh, because um, because she's a buffer and she increases attack and crit damage which will definitely be needed so yeah she'll probably be one of those uh, meta characters that everyone needs so i'm not sure i'm just guessing at this point you know <laughs> so yeah okay the next character here um natasha now you know what i <laughs> i really did not know that like you know this is raven actually like i i've been hearing that i've been seeing this character as well like you know in a lot of videos and like you know like people are saying natasha natasha and then one day i actually realized while in my honkai impact um like you know playing while i was playing honkai impact i realized uh like seeing raven and going to her profile that her name is natasha and i was like wait a minute so these two are the same like i know they're not the same these are the different parallel universes but still it, it's based on the same character i guess so so this character is raven like i i really am unable to recognize both of them because they're so different appearance wise but after knowing now that i look at them i can see the resemblance you know so yeah so basically this is raven uh, in honkai and her uh, uh what is what do you call it um, her ultimate her name is gift of rebirth okay um so she <laughs> destroys a teddy bear and heals everyone <laughs> okay nice so i'm guessing she will also be one of the main like you know characters that you really need because she's a healer and so bronia will be one of the meta characters i think so and she'll probably be another character that everyone needs because of her healing ability so okay okay the next character here i'm not sure who this girl is but uh she has a telescope and her um the name of her ultimate is astral blessing she damn i love her weapon or whatever that is she uses the power of the constellations i'm guessing i'm not sure and brings out a, a thing a structure in the sky which kind of reminds me of uh, Mona's animation from Genshin Impact, you know, especially with all the constellations and the design of the uh, thing that she uh, uses. So yeah, and again, so this is this girl is another buffer or something like that. Her ultimate uh, makes what is this action advance? So does she? So I'm guessing she kind of increases the. Mm, I think you know like the way uh, like for example over here you can see like which character will fight uh, like you know which character will get their turn after which character so I'm guessing this action advance will probably boost that up like you're going to get your turn before something like that I'm guessing so again I'm, I'm guessing she'll also be a character who you can use in different strategies you know so yeah Oh, an attack boost as well. I did not see that. That's nice. Okay, so this guy here, um, Stardust Ace. That's the name of his ultimate, and she, he has a train behind him. Okay, I have to say I really like this guy's design. Um, you know, he's like wearing a jacket and has like a what do you call it? As uh, is that a baseball bat? 
excuse me uh or is that a that's a baton or a baseball bat you know those police patterns either of it i'm not sure but yeah she i think he reinforces it damage boost i saw that it is a baseball bat i think yeah so okay that that's his ultimate so he basically strengthens his bat so that the next turn he hits it will be stronger or something like that i'm guessing all right this guy here now uh, this guy is a weird mixture of zhongli and su i feel like you know like zhongli from genshin and su from uh Hongkai's, uh elsian realm you know su that guy uh the uh the one who has the uh, bodhi you know that one um so uh, uh, the bodhi signet yeah I, I forgot uh what it was called but you know so i'm pretty sure he is kind of um related to that because his ultimate here okay here it is this ultimate like this thing um yeah it kind of looks like that and it also looks like fuka's you know fuka uh, from honkai impact uh, uh azure Imper imperia's ultimate the little droplet uh, sound effect that we were seeing and the color scheme here you know everything goes gray when fuka uses her ultimate it's kind of like that so it's like a mixture of all of that and uh yeah like it's really good i really like that okay let's see that again okay so he basically attacks the character all right okay the next one this guy here now i don't know why but his dress kind of reminds me of bronia's dress you know uh so i'm guessing probably this guy and bronia are somehow in the same uh squad or something you know probably something like that uh, i'm not so sure about that but this is just a guess and another thing that is kind of uh like you know interesting is that he uses ice which is actually uh you know ice is bronya's uh element in honka impact so kind of interesting and that was just it he uses like you know he kind of unleashes this big ice thing all right the next one um zere zere um her attacks uh, ultimate is called butterfly flurry and her character design is very similar to zere that we know but you know like her like appearance is like sele but her voice is veliona's voice isn't it i think that's what you call her veliona like you know the the other the alter persona that that Zele has within her uh, I think you call her Veliona I'm not so sure I think I've seen people calling her Veliona so yeah and obviously we have blue and red a little red we can see here okay um so she uses a scythe which is you know like from Honkai she also uses a scythe in Honkai and the blood butterflies blue blood of butterflies coming Damn, I think this this uh, ultimate is the coolest. Like, just look at this. Okay, that was it. Yeah, so... Damn, she's cool. Like, her voice is uh, Veliona's voice. And her uh, appearance is a kind of a mixture of Veliona and Sele. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next character. Uh, Zone Suppression. That's the name of her ultimate and okay so let's see i don't know like this 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 character kind of does not remind me of anyone you know like i've been comparing all the different characters with honkai or genshin characters but this character does not actually remind me of anyone maybe her uh, hair color is like mona or something i don't know but Okay, another thing, um, her dress again, I'm not so sure, but she's also probably one of the uh, members of the army or whatever, the squad that Bronya is in, or maybe not, or maybe this is just a normal dress. Uh, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Okay, so what she does is... Oh damn, these things are... Um, 
I'm not so sure what these are, but oh, this is like laser thingies. Okay. Oh, interesting. Uh, it d reduces defense. Oh, okay, that's it. I think. Yep. So the last character reduces defense, which will also be, I'm guessing, used in a lot of um strategies. Now here's the thing, as I said, like I'm not so sure, sure which characters will be there from the beginning, which characters will be uh, coming out later and which characters will be given for free. Uh, probably, um, I'm very, okay, let me just check her name. This is really bothering me. Uh, okay, Starrail, um, like I'm talking about the main girl. It's really bothering me, like her name. I can't remember what it is. It is such a simple name, but I can't remember. It's either March or it is April, either of it. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, I came to the official site, so. Okay, where is she? March, oh, March 7th. Why the hell did I say 14th? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, March 7th. Okay, that's her name. March. Alright, so yeah, as I was saying, so uh, March will obviously be one of the characters who are given for free. I think so. And I'm not so sure which other characters will be given for free. Hopefully, Himeko is given for free so that we don't have to get into the gacha thing. You know, like the gacha, like, <laughs> like the whole probability of, yeah, will I get her? Will I not get her? Like... Hopefully that doesn't happen. If hopefully she's given for free, and I'm happy, you know. If I get Himeko, I'm really happy. And like, if she's not given for free, obviously I'm going to target for Himeko, um, Sere, um, Natasha, uh, Bronya. These four. These four will be my main targets. And after that, I think I'm I'm like you know if I get them and if I'm very lucky enough to get all of them, um, after that I'll probably try to get that girl. Mm. Uh, the one with the guitar. I really liked her character design. And uh, yeah, all the other characters I'll think about. But these these characters are like my main targets. Will be my main targets. So yeah, hopefully. <laughs> a few characters are actually given to us for free. And hopefully, um, yeah, everyone gets what they want. So yeah, that was it guys. That was my reaction to all the characters ultimates and yes, I'm very excited for this to come out and it's probably going to come out next year. So yeah, like this is this is great and I am really loving the way they're doing this. It's kind of like I'm guessing, uh, you know, like those games where you kind of, uh, it's like an open world. But still, like, you know, it's like a tactical type. Like, as soon as you encounter enemies, you start fighting in a more tactical way. Uh, kind of like, I guess, Persona, you can say, you know, the way Persona does it. Uh, Persona is not an open uh, world, but still, like, you know, the way you can kind of move around. And then there's this enemies kind of moving around. And if you attack the enemies from behind, you get an advantage. If, you, if the enemies attack you from behind, you get a disadvantage, something like that, probably. I'm guessing it will be something like that. So yeah, and we'll get like this open world where we can uh, find chests and stuff, just like Genshin. I'm guessing, and uh, yeah, like and and I'm not so sure if this will be open world like um like you know Genshin or will it be kind of like Honkai where there's like basically stages, you know, like there's like one stage you can do something here and then there's another stage, you know, you can do something there. Like, will it be like that or will it be like this huge open world where you can just move from one place, to one part of the map to another, like Genshin? I'm not so sure which it will be. Like, I don't have any problem with either of it. Like, you know, the game should be amazing by the looking, by the look at it. And I really hope like everything goes well. And yeah, so that's it, guys. So thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Honkai Star Rails, all the characters ultimates. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, how you're like, you know, liking uh, which characters you like the most, which character are you actually trying to get uh, when you when the game arrives, uh, you know, uh, which characters you'll be targeting. Let me know in the comment section. And 
yeah so yeah guys that's it and um i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day